Okay, here we have a question on the equations of straight lines using the formula y equals mx plus c. And also it's going to involve doing tangents of straight lines as well. This is a further maths GCSE exam paper question. Um, it's in two parts. The A part, which is worth two marks, which is fairly straightforward. And then the B part, um, which is worth a lot more marks, six marks, which we'll come to in a minute. Okay, so starting with A. Um, we want to work out the tangent, uh, not the tangent, the gradient, or well, the equation, in fact, of this line here, AC. Okay, now, um, the equation of the line is going to be something to do with y equals mx plus c, where c is the, the point at which it crosses the x-axis, the y-axis, so the y-intercept, which is the number 4. So straight away we get y equals mx plus 4. Um, the gradient, um, when I'm looking at gradients, you need to think about how far, um, for every one you go across, how far up or down you go. Um, and then that number is the gradient. Now remembering that if you're going up, that's positive, and if you're coming down, that's negative. Okay, so um, in this question we are going... Um, use a different colour, we're going across from here to here and then down to there. So how far across we're going? We go from 0 to 12 which is 12 and then we're coming down from 4 to 0 which is 4. So we've got this um, triangle which is 12 by 4. So when I, if I'm looking at how far I go down when I go 1 across I need to divide the 4 by 12. So we do 12, uh, 4 divided by 12, which is 1 third. So the gradient is 1 third, but it's in the negative direction. So that means that the gradient is minus 1 third. So we have minus 1 third x plus 4. Um, it could be written more neatly as 4 minus 1 third x, but either is fine. Okay, part B. Now we know that this, we just worked out that AC is y equals minus one third x plus four. So the gradient of this line is minus a third, we've already got. And this line here, which we've got to try to do for B, because we want to work out the coordinates of point B. So if we can work out the equation of this line, um, that will help us do that. So to work out the equation of this line, OB, well first of all it goes through 0, so it's y equals something x, and there is no constant. Um, what is the something x? Well because it's at right angles, it's what we call a tangent, then we do the reciprocal of the gradient and change the sign. So the reciprocal of 1 third, so then we take the th uh, turn it upside down which is 3, and change the sign to plus 3, because this, is, this gradient is obviously negative, so this one's obviously positive. Okay, so um, OB um, implies y equals 3x. So now we've got um, two equations. We need to figure out how far along this line we need to go to get to OB, or to get to B. So knowing this is a um, kite, we can realize that if we can figure out what this point is, this is halfway between O and B, and we can just double that. So whatever x and y value we get there, we can just double to get b. Um, and that point is just where these two lines cross. So where these two lines cross is where the two y values are the same. So we've got um, minus one third x plus 4 is going to be equal to 3x. So this equation is equal to that equation. Um, solving that by adding the, the one third x gives us uh, 3 and 1 third x equals 4. Um, 3 and 1 third is 10 thirds x equals 4. So that tells us that x equals uh, divided by 10 over 3 is the same as multiplying by 3 over 10, uh, which is 12 tenths or 6 fifths. So the x value here is 6 over 5. So this one is just going to be double that, which is 12 over 5. So um, that tells us this is 12 over 5, or if you like, as a decimal or a, simple, uh, a mixed number, it's going to be 2 and 2 fifths, or 2.4. 
And then we could just use the, the y equals 3 lots of x, 3 lots of 12 fifths um, to get 36 over 5, uh, which is also equal to um, 7.2. Okay, and that's it. That's quite a tricky thing to know to, what to do there. Um, but uh, hopefully when you've seen one, uh, that will help you do others.